What's good y'all, just for kicks 212 here and I'm back with another pickups video. If you guys are aware, which I'm pretty sure you are, because if you like sneakers and you're watching this, you like sneakers, you know what's going on in the world. Air Max Day just passed, the second one, the second annual Air Max Day, right? And if you guys have been a fan of this channel right here for a while, you know what happened to me on the first Air Max Day. Nike fucking scammed me, B, on Air Max Day. If you guys are totally unaware of that, just watch right here. There should be a card, like, right up here. Right now, and I can't even pull it out this big-ass box, my niggas. Nigga, my shit won't come out. Them niggas did me dumb dirty, like crazy. So, this is what I picked up. Bam, I got the Air Max Zero Young Tinker feet pieces right here. And you know which one I got. Bam, I got the yellow original sketch colorway, whatever you want to call it, real quick. I'm just going to put this back in the box and we're going to deal with one at a time. But I'm going to show you a clip of what I filmed last night because I unboxed it on camera last night. Obviously, I can't unbox twice. That's why I'm not doing it right here. But I did not like how it looked. The reason being, I did it in the crib. It's dark outside. The lighting that I had was like kind of sketchy. Like I didn't like, like it, it, it looked weird. So it was like, it, I'd rather do it outside so it looks natural. You feel me? Look, natural light makes stuff look way more natural and better. Like this is like a blow up chair. But behind me is a 50 inch, right? A 50 inch. And then I got this fucking box. This and everything else is space. This shit was not doing nothing for any of the space in the box, number one. Dumb niggas just reckless. Like my shit could have been way more fucked up than it is. But the only damage I received on my box is that right there. Like it's literally like a hole in the box. Other than that, the box is straight. Son, like, come on. Why? Why can't you give me a smaller box? I know you got smaller boxes. A size 11, this is like a 14 box, my nigga. You're like, what are y'all doing over there? Why does Nike keep on fucking putting shoes this fucking size in size 14 boxes? Nigga, I'm not understanding. Like, did you see my problem that I'm having? Like, with Nike? Like, what are you? What are y'all doing? Gave it a shot on the sneakers app. I cop real easy. You know how they got the little authentication of your thumb and shit like that, and then that's it. Cop the Air Max. Now, this is the Air Max Zero, the original sketch colorway. Yo, I think these shits are so dope. I don't have many yellow sneakers in my collection, but this one is definitely gonna stay in it. Just because the Air Max Zero, I don't know if you niggas know, it doesn't, well, I'm not even gonna say that. If you don't know, Air Maxes in general, from the original, like one all the way to the, I wanna say, 2009 or maybe even the 360 yeah probably about to the 360 the air max 360 the original 360 they used polyurethane midsoles the 360 didn't have a foam midsole it was tpu it was thermoplastic urethane whatever it was like mad plastic on the shoe pretty much but up until that point it was all poly all polyurethane midsoles now polyurethane is just real fucking heavy my nigga real dense it's the reason why they use it because they didn't know how to house air max units properly back then in like phylon, like softer midsole materials. They needed the heavier, more dense stuff for stability and all that shit. They figured it out back when the 360s dropped or whatever. And um, ever since then, they've been doing it. Now, when these come out now, the phylon that they put it in, cause it's not a polyurethane anymore, is real fucking light. On top of that, they cut out all this foam, my nigga. All this foam is cut out, so it's even more lightweight. They expose it by cutting more rubber here. That's cool. This is just a cool feature. Um, and then they don't add any rubber only in the, the heel and the toe. And it's not even carbon rubber. It's just like a, a more durable rubber in the heel. I know you guys can see it right here. And then the toe. They don't add it all across because it would add more weight. This is heavier. These, these parts right here are heavier than the midsole material itself. I don't mean to get all technical with you. But I appreciate that, that they do that with this. Another thing I appreciate is the toe box is not restrictive. I know you niggas all have some kind of LeBron's, KD's or some shit in your collection. If you don't know, well, you do know. The, the bo toe box is always like mad snug, like and tight. Like, not to say tight, but real snug. Reason being, obviously, basketball players need their foot to stay above the footbed. Cool, I understand that shit. But this shit right here is not restrictive. Your toes can move, I can wiggle them shits in there. Like, it, it feels good. Like, this is how sneakers should be. Another cool feature I noticed on the sneaker, which I never noticed on my original Air Max Zeros. I guess I never really looked at them just because of the fucking incident that happened. The reason why they're so like meshy in the front, but still supportive all through, even in the toe box where it's roomy, they're, 
I don't know if you guys can see it because the sun is probably gonna block it because the sun's a fucking hater. But if you look, it's like translucent TPU threading um, with the mesh. Like it's like a combination of both, the mesh and TPU threading. Kind of like how the Kobe uh, 11 is right now. So it adds crazy support. Like you're not gonna worry about like you fucking ripping through the mesh or anything like that easily. I think the sneaker is fucking crazy innovative. Like this is a dope sneaker. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be boost and comfort, but crazy dope sneaker. The design is crazy. It's just, you can wear this any day, my nigga. Like it's, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with shorts. Like it just is what it is. I, I like this pickup. What do you guys think about this pickup? If I talk too much about the technical shit, tell me I talk too much about the technical shit because I think that was my problem with my old, like my original videos. Like I was just too technical niggas was like, what are you talking about? I want to try to bring back some of the technical side because I do like talking about the technical side of shit. I don't want to just always talk shit and just crack jokes all day. Sometimes I want to get real serious about this shit. But anyway, tell me what you think of my pickup, Air Max Zero. Thankfully, Nike didn't fuck me too bad on these. Oh yeah, real quick, shout out to Paradox. I know you've seen them on my page, Paradox, however you want to pronounce it. I know some of you niggas be like, yo, how do you say it? Paradox, Paradox, whatever you feel free. He got his own brand popping, hella sad, hella rad. He gave me one of his t-shirts real quick. It's actually doing real good in the Orlando area. On the back, I'll show you, but it says, I'm gonna show you, I guess, somehow. The back says is uh, just hella sad, hella rad in abbreviations. Yo, shout out to you, thank you for the shirt. I do appreciate it. You know I always appreciate everything you do, Perry. Hey, yeah, just check him out if you can. It'll be down in my description below. It'll be his uh, Twitter, I believe his Tumblr, I'll post down below. Whatever information I have on him, I will post it. His, uh, his group YouTube page, because his group and him do uh, all kind of like videos. They do like Outback party type shit and just music like they just do a bunch of shit that you niggas would be interested in i know anyway again thank you for the shirt appreciate it homie and one last thing stay tuned to the videos i got a cool pickup from the sneakers app and there's only twelve thousand of them how's you guys later just for kicks two one two one